Hello, this is Candace with MySpockLife.com. Thank you for joining our Good Book series. Today, our book is The Watcher is Wide by author Pat Conroy. Before Pat Conroy became the widely known author that he is today, he spent some time in the late 1960s as a teacher on a very isolated island in South Carolina. The time that he spent there, the difficulties he faced, the ignorance that he encountered, he wrote about all of that in The Water is Wide. Um, one of the things that impressed me the most about this book is the similarities between the past and the present. As Mr. Conroy stated so many times, the children were not born with the chance. They were not given a chance with the educational system that they had. And therefore, when they reached adulthood, they would not have a chance as well. And um, in spite of the things that he did to help the children that he was teaching, he was up against so much. Children who were 11 and 12 years old who could not read, could not write, and could not add. Children who could not speak English correctly. They didn't know who the president was. They didn't know what country they lived in. All of these things were so amazingly sad. But the thing that was the saddest is that the school board and the administrators told everyone else that the school was fine, it had problems, but so did other schools in the county. And that school should not be treated any differently than other schools in the county. As a teacher myself, I understand his passion for trying to help the children. I also understand how you get to a point where you realize everything that you are doing is not enough and you must do something different. I have been to the island on which Pat Conroy taught and I will talk more about that in another video. How the things that we saw and the things that we were told were not exactly the things that were. And I feel that that's very important as a traveler to get to the truth behind what is really going on. Especially in places that are isolated and don't have a lot of contact with the outside world. If you would like to know more about Sea Island culture, if you've ever been interested in knowing about Gola and Geechee people, he does not name them as such in the book, but that is who they are. If you've ever been to a Sea Island in South Carolina, or you just like Pat Conroy's book, I highly recommend you pick it up and read it. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe.